right, so we're here in Sioux Center. Uh, it's bone freezing outside and we're waiting for press check-in, observation number one. This is a little bit of a small event for Donald Trump, who's usually on the kind of glam rock, Peter Frampton scale of uh, uh, like menus. This is much more like a, a sci-fi author's first reading. All right, so we're about two hours before the event. You can see there's a huge, long line of people snaking all of its, its way to that little venue over there. The actual room, I don't think they've told these people that the room is pretty small. So I think a sizable percentage of these folks are not gonna get in. So we, we might have a bit of a scene uh, when the doors actually close, we'll see. Uh, people are freezing, you can see them shivering at the end of the line. But big crowd, which is not un, uh, unusual for Donald Trump. This is your first time? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Uh, are, you worried? Like, are you sure you're gonna get in? No, no, but yeah. we're gonna stand out here anyway. Can I ask you like, how you feel about the Colorado and Maine thing? I think it's ridiculous, of yeah. course. So not that I'm going to wear this, but Let's Go Brendan, I think, is some of the some of the better political trolling we've had uh, in the last couple of years. So I'm going to add this to the collection. And how did you feel about last caucus, the way that he announced the results and it was like delayed? No, I've been doing this a long time and it used to be the easiest thing in the world. And now it's weird. Yeah, like, yeah. Um, we've always liked how Iowa does the caucus, but yeah, last year was, or last time was very strange. But, and ask how you feel about Maine and Colorado and that whole thing. Like, it's a joke. Really? <laughs> it's as soon as a court hears it, it'll be thrown out. He ran the country for four years. I saw an immediate change in, in everything. You mentioned Prop 12. What's that? Oh, that's how they want to raise the to have them come into California. What's the specification? Um, it's how much exercise they get. How do you exercise a pig? Oh, I see. It's Biden, but what's the original thing? Like, what was it before it was Biden? It's supposed to be like Little Debbie. Little Debbie? Little Dummy. Little Dummy. Oh, I see. Was it a product? I'm sorry, I'm from the East Coast. Oh! Yeah, oh, the grocery stores. Yeah, Everybody they're knows Little, little Debbie. Little yeah. Debbie? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yes. God, this is really embarrassing. Can I ask just about how you all feel about Colorado and Maine and those decisions? They suck. They suck. Yeah. <laughs> Florida, they took uh, Dean Phillips and Marianne Williamson off a ballot there too. So. They're, they're just digging themselves in the hole. If they can choose who can be on the ballot and who can't, I feel like then we should vote. What's the point of us voting? They're not yeah, giving they're us they're a choice. They're going to take away and tell us who can and can't vote for anyway. Right. No, there's That's no point. Have to do it. Right. So. Always key to get the playlist of the candidate. That Elvis, which I think always think is interesting. President of the United States, President Donald J. Trump. And I'm proud to be an American, where at least I know I'm free. They had me the other day, I was imitating uh, Biden because he can't walk off stage, right? You know, I could, no, he can never find the exit, so they had me turning around and looking for. And they showed me that I couldn't find the way off the stage. In other words, they said he couldn't find the way off the stage. And it's just terrible. They're so bad. They, you guys are so dishonest. You're so pathetic. That's why they're all going out of business, I'll tell you. They are just so pathetic. Nikki Haley, bird brain. This is governor, yeah, Ronda Sanctimonious, actually. It's, if I'm being tried, they go quickly. They set records. Uh, if I'm being tried for bullshit, they go fast. Nikki Haley has been in the pocket of the open borders establishment donors her entire career, and uh, she's a globalist, you know, she likes the globe. With you at my side, we will demolish the deep state. We will expel the warmongers from our government. They're going to say he incited an insurrection, these stupid bastards. Thank you very much. Thank you. Go caucus. Thank you very much. Wrapping up at the Terrace Event Center in Sioux Center, Iowa. Uh, 
I've covered about 30 Trump speeches in my life. That was by far the longest. Trump was in a very good mood or else he had a really good batch of vibe answer for vigil. He went on for an unofficial runtime of an hour and 43 minutes. It had everything, he threw a bullshit in there. Uh, he talked about how he was the best at everything at least four or five different times. Um, and he took out a, a, a handkerchief, Milton Berle style at one point because he said it was 200 degrees. Uh, it was great. It was like Bill Murray's Just Doesn't Matter speech meets Jimmy Vollmer. Uh, have you heard about this uh, comedy routine meets uh, Henny Youngman, but minus the uh, violin. Anyway, it was fantastic. Uh, funny in a very interesting way, but we'll get into it more on, online. Trump fuck your feelings flag. I think that's pretty class merch.